Hi, it's Dan Jones, owner of Carolina Real Estate Experts. Thanks for stopping by the video blog. Uh, today I wanna to talk to you about a question that comes up often, uh, you know, which is how much do square footages matter in determining my price uh, of the property? So when you look at your square footage of your home, I know a lot of people will compare a two-story house, hey, I have 3,000 square you know, feet on my, on my property, and this home across the street has 3,000, and they just sold for 350,000, and you know, Zillow's telling you my home's worth 275. Well, maybe your home is worth 275, maybe it's worth more, uh, but if the home across the street is a ranch and all 3,000 square feet are on one level versus two, then you're probably not going to get the extra 50, 75, 100,000 that that ranch might get with that sort of square footage. One reason is that ranches are much more desirable in this market here, at least here in Charlotte, and number two, ranches are much more expensive to build. So in order to build a ranch, the base of your home is larger. It's more expensive to build out than it is up. It's just additional framing to go up versus out. It's extremely expensive. There's more concrete involved, there's more plumbing, and there's more structure to go around that property. So when you see homes that are $20, $30 more a square foot for a single level, then you can't compare that. Also, homes with basements. A lot of people say I have 6,000 square feet. You know, all the homes are selling for $125 a square foot. You know, they're two stories. I'm two story with the basement. Well, your two story with the basement, that basement doesn't cost as much to purchase as it does two stories that have 6,000 square feet versus your 4,000 with 2,000 down. That basement in general, depending on what sort of finishes, could be 30, 40, 50% of the actual square footage cost of a home that actually has two stories here and here, uh, up and down versus one, two, and three. So be really careful on your square footages in regards to a basement. So a lot of people will say, you know, hey, the home across the street just sold for 500,000. We're the same square footage. Ours must be five, you know, 500,000 as well. So be careful because we don't know what upgrades they had. We don't know if they did any structural differences to make it a completely open floor plan so if both homes are built in the 80s but this one felt like a brand new home versus your home hasn't had an update since the mid 90s uh the flooring is still you know all the 12 inch tile the cabinets are original from the early 90s let's say there's brass versus updated hardware there was a brand new roof twenty thousand dollars worth of hvac equipment in the home a patio outside that was forty five fifty thousand dollars a much better lot than the one that we're comparing to but you have the same square footage time out be careful so when it comes to making sure you know what your home's worth you have to do a full equity evaluation that will take in square footages to a certain degree but also the overall condition of a home what upgrades have or have not been done obviously the location which you can't change but does have some sort of drive in the price and then finally kind of most important is supply and demand right so that will take in consideration everything in regards to determining the price for your home versus only looking at a square footage value so i hope this has helped and as always thanks for stopping by the video blog uh, we're never too busy for a referral from a friend or family and uh, we look forward to seeing you at the closing table thanks for stopping by